Korea Audio. And today we just have a short video for the folks with the 360s and the 430s with the factory OEM Hi-Fi option that will help them to see how to remove the OEM booster cradle that mounts under the dash so that they can swap out their booster or whatever they need to do. So, I mean, it's a simple procedure. This uh, cradle has two steel pins coming out the back. It has a little ear in the front with a hole in it. The two pins fall into two holes in the front of the transmission hump. It sits at an angle and there's a screw that runs through this ear and straight underneath the dash and that's basically it. I mean, removing this thing is so easy you could literally do it blindfolded. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, if I can find my number two Phillips, get in here and locate that screw. It goes into the dash, it's a pretty steep angle. It's a rather long screw as well. It's more like a wood screw than a, it's not a machine screw with threads. Okay, so once the screw's out, it'll kind of flop down. Right, and remember the two pins are in the back, so all you have to do is just grab the thing and pull it out about an inch. And see, it just pops right out of there. Now to get the cable off, on the right side, there's a little tab that hangs out. See, I'm putting my finger around it. You just pull it away from the amp, from the cradle, and it pops out and it swivels. You see that? It, it kind of swivels because there's a hook on the other end. Once you swivel out enough, that hook will clear, and that's it. You've got it out of there. Okay, so to put it back in, it's basically the opposite. Remember that the, the uh, connector on the harness side has that little hook. So you just make sure the hook hooks into the big scary plug. And you see the thing will, will basically start pivoting on its own. Make sure I have it in there. It's kind of hard to film because I can't see on that side. But there we go. Once you have it hooked, it starts pivoting on its own. It's basically self-guiding. You just keep pivoting it until you hear click, right? And then just kind of put your hand back there and you'll feel the two holes. So kind of whatever side of the car you're on, kind of keep your finger on that hole and then feel the pin, guide the pin in the hole. It's easier if you have it a little at an angle. See, it goes right in there. Then you just put the screw back in Remember the steep angle. And we are done. Okay, well, that's about it. Now remember, this procedure is exactly the same for the Modena 360 Spider, 430, 430 Spider, Challenge Stradali, Scuderia, and 16M. Okay, well, have a great day!